This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention Yard Info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go. What's your rank, if I might ask? What's your date of birth, Mr. I'm Ridley? not going to give it to you, I'm not required to. People think this is what I do all week. They think it's what I'm all about. Confrontations with cops. They probably even think I walk up to them all the time, when in fact they're almost always coming up to me. If they interact with me at all, which is really not that much... I mean, I don't interact with cops that much more than you do. I just videotape it every time. But anyway, what I really do is I... The other thing they... Well, let's talk more about what people think I do before we say what I really do. They think that I, uh, that I do this all the time. They hang around with liberty activists. I don't do that very much either. I miss 19 events out of 20 right here in New Hampshire. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. They think I'm some sort of libertarian, low-budget pundit. But that's not really even it either. All I do is orbit an idea. I don't orbit these people. I don't orbit a movement. I don't really even think I orbit a set of goals. I just orbit an idea. Thou shalt not commit acts of aggression, nor harmful fraud, nor threats thereof. I'm just an anti-aggressionist. I've learned the hard way that if you're for something, like a person, or a movement, or a party, or an army, or a rebel group, you'll almost certainly live to regret it. Because those things are not things. They're people, and they'll always eventually let you down. Just orbiting an idea. Call it the non-aggression principle, if you want. But I think I've been a little bit more precise in the way I've worded it. Then, of course, I take thou shalt not a little bit further. I take it to thou shalt oppose, right? Not, I'm not just trying to avoid doing acts of aggression. I'm actively opposing acts of aggression. But that's not the same as being joined at the hip with every single thing you do if you're a liberty activist. Because the truth is, I know I probably can't rely on you. Every six months to a year or so, I, I have what I call a, a Ridley scandal. Usually it involves me uh, you know, being a little too transparent with the news and reporting something that somebody thought they had told me in confidence or, or something that was posted to a Facebook group or something like that that they feel is not entirely public. Um, and when this happens, I call it fair weather friend season. Uh, people pile on all the things they don't like about the Ridley Report, uh, and really not very many people will come to my defense. But, uh, I don't think you can be up here if you don't have a... I can't be on a public street. No, this, well, this is blocked off the street right now. It's a sidewalk. Sir, you can't be up here right now. Here's another example of, like, this is, an, this is me interacting with someone in an imperfect manner. I, I was in the right, but I didn't have real good demeanor on this one. I, I really don't want to be on your tape, sir. <sighs> what are you going to do about it? Are you going to stop me? You're going to tape someone without their consent and put it on TV? Hell yeah. You should see the so-called liberty activists, you know, immediately lining up to pee-pee in my cornflakes. Whenever I slip just slightly out of line like this, um, I'm not even sure how far out of line this was, but again, the demeanor was not perfect. As it never is. I'm not the immaculate conception. I'm just a human. Anyway, point being, these little fair weather friend uh, frenzies that happen every once in a while uh, remind me that uh, I'm to some extent on my own. Uh, it's just like the, there was a fighter pilot in World War I that used to say, uh, you fought alone, you died alone. And that's how I expect it to be for me. You may not expect it, but it's probably how it's going to be for you too. Sure, there are people who will come to your aid here and there. Some of them will do heroic things to help you. But in the end, we're all, in a way, on our own. It's kind of like Jim Morrison said. No one gets out of here alive. Kind of. Where was I going with this concept? I don't remember. This Ridley O sponsored by... Keenvention Yard Info. It's a keen convention. You'll have to go. Only 50 bucks held near the peak of leaf-peeping season in a place that's fascinating even without its natural beauty. The purpose is to focus discussion on New Hampshire freedom activism. November 1st through the 3rd.
Convention yard info. It's a keen convention. You'll have to go.